Hey guys, it's Eddie from Man Made Kennels and today we're gonna show you how to collect semen, how to store or, or prepare semen for shipping. And um, this is everything that we're gonna need today, minus the dog. We will need a pet. So I think we're gonna use Cosmo. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I wanted to show you all the parts. And so we'll get started. So what they're doing now is they're collecting the semen. As you can see, the butt's puckering because he is pushing out juices. We got Louie in the back. Justin, say what's up. What's up? All right, so they're collecting the semen. We'll get to the next part. All right, guys, so Justin has removed the semen from the bag and he put it into a syringe and now he's gonna fill, fill up the first vial. There was a lot that he collected just now, so it's gonna go. Yeah, there you go. Now he's got another tube. You just put that one down right there, baby. Okay, open up this one. And then put the rest. All right. It's very simple. All right, she's gonna cap them both off and then we'll put them in the centrifuge. All right guys, so now that we have the semen in the tubes, this is what you call a centrifuge, and we're going to put it at 1000 RPMs for 12 minutes. So there's a timer here with a little white line down here on the bottom. I don't know if I can get to it, but there's a line there. 12 minutes, right? And then we'll come over here, and we're gonna put it at 1000 RPMs. And in 12 minutes, this guy will beep and like slow down. And then we'll show you what it looks like. Cool. All right guys, so 10 minutes have passed. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the clear. So you can move his other hand out the way. As you can see at the bottom is the good stuff that we wanna keep and we're removing all the impurities. That's good, Jesse. We'll leave it there. And then we'll do you put that put the top cup top back on it. And just put it in there. And we're gonna do the same thing with the next one. So then Justin's gonna go back in there. And he's going to remove more of that there. Is that all you can get? Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna leave it like that. This is just that you wanna get more than that, but we're not actually gonna use this semen, so it doesn't really matter. Um, right here we have is the extender. So this extender is, um, we're gonna be doing four to one. So what we have to do now is we have to use that syringe that we just had. Justin, will you get that syringe for me? All right, is it cleared out? And we're gonna, we're gonna collect these two vials of semen into the syringe so we know exactly how many cc's we have. So go ahead and collect both of those in there for me, Justin. Now for those of you at home that are like, you could have done it better than that, listen to me, we're trying to help you guys out, okay? We're trying to, there is a better way to do this, but we're trying to make a video while doing it and it's not easy, okay? So we collected all the semen. Best we could. And Justin's gonna tip it upside down, the syringe. And we're gonna to try to get that last little bit in there if we can. <laughs> it's not gonna work. <laughs> it's okay, Jay. Just pull it down just a little tiny bit, but be careful. You want me to do it so you don't lose it all? Just a little bit. No, nope, don't worry about it. Don't even worry about it, Jay. We don't even need all that. Take the, take the straw back off. Take the straw. Oh, actually, you know what we'll do? Is we'll use the little tip right here for this slide. Make it easier on everybody. So just put a little tiny little tiny drop on there for me. Jay. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. I will have to fast forward this part probably because Justin's taking 10 days. That's okay. I mean. There it is. Oh, that's way more than we need, but 
what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this slide on here so that you guys can actually see what the semen looks like before we send it out. And that is going to be crazy. Louie will slide that underneath there. In the meantime, Justin, go ahead and pull that semen back for me. See if you can get that as much of that in there as you can. There we go. And whatever you can't get in, just take the straw off. We don't need it. We're not even using this. So. All right. So what it gave me here, and you can see. Oh, wait, sorry. You just bring it up to the top so you can see exactly how much semen you got. Now, it shouldn't be this much. You should be spun down way better than that. But my brother um, is still kind of learning. So realistically, this should be about one cc worth of semen, maybe two cc's spun down. And that means that if you're doing four to one, you're going to need to put eight cc's of um, extender in there. So we're gonna get down to the 10, okay? So Justin, will you clear, clear that out real quick for me? And then what we'll do is we'll go in here we're going to add 10 cc's of the extender. Cut to a different scope. All right, so here is the semen moving. And you can see that it's spun down and it's very concentrated and it's very good. Okay, I'm gonna see if we can get a little closer so you guys can actually see the little babies. There's loads of them, there's billions, or at least a billion. So many of them, it's hard to. But they're very, very mobile, moving <laughs> around, doing great. Okay, that is semen, and it's so concentrated that I can't even show you one. But it's there. All right, some of that you'll see little things in there. You know, it's got some fluid in there that we kind of didn't want in there, but it's okay. As you can see, it's alive, it's thriving, and it's moving. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is uh, Justin's gonna put the, the tip back on that syringe. Okay, you'll open that up for, for me, Louie? The sterile filter. This is the extender. Actually, shake it up one time for me. Okay, you're gonna shake it. We're gonna open it. It's 98 degrees right now. So, Justin will pull eight cc's. So, he's at the two cc mark, and he's gonna get it to the 10 cc mark. Go ahead, slide that in there. You add another syringe? Or you no, want to we put it, it, it mixes in with that syringe. All right. How, so you want me to pull it all the way to eight? To 10. To 10? Yeah, you're gonna mix it all the way to 10. And so, he's gonna draw it up till it hits 10. Oh, almost. That's cool. All right, you put the extender into the tube that we're gonna ship, that you would ship. Thank you, Jay. I appreciate that. Yeah. Now I got to wash my hands. He's a Marine, y'all. So, you know, they they have to have instructions right now. Step one, step two, step three. Look, look. It, yeah, they, they, they need it written in crayon, bright colors. He's going to put that, that top on real quick with his hands because my hands are contaminated now. I got little Cosmos running around on my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to grab that, that right there, Justin? What? That sleeve, see that little sleeve? Yep. Mm -hmm. We're gonna put that sleeve inside of that. Put it inside of the sleeve. Then we're gonna open this box. Inside this box, guys. Louie, will you open that freezer? The deep freezer, the freezer down there for me? All right, grab that, open that up. Lift that. All right, you see there's a container, there's a spot in there for this. Just slide that in there. Just, you're gonna slide that in there, and then Louie, bring that, bring that, um, bring that, uh... It's on the top shelf. On the top shelf. Right there, right to there, the right. right there, yep. Ice right. pack to chill it. Yep. So, ice pack take the ice pack, slide it on top. I think you had it the right way the first All right. This right here is an ice pack. We're gonna put the lid on it. And guys, you go Put your two, head over to FedEx and overnight it, and then get to the other side and people are happy, am I right? 
Make sure you get with your vet to see what times they're doing their surgicals so you don't get the FedEx in the afternoon or in the morning when you're not supposed to. Just coordinate with the vet. Don't forget that. Yeah, very important. God bless, guys. I hope you guys learned something. I hope it was helpful. Peace. Man-made candles. We can all have seen Hey guys, uh, this is Louie from Man Made Candles. Just want to let you guys know, we make sure that we sterilize all of our workspaces. So, this is me bleaching everything. Okay. There we go. Just so y'all know, because we will get those comments out there that say, oh my God, how nasty is that? Well, we are not that nasty, okay? We do have a lot of dogs, but we are not nasty. So please leave those type of bad comments off. Thank you. Hope y'all have fun. Peace, man-made kennels.